The Basic Law of the Universe Beloved one, you are coming into a time now, a part of a progression which has started a good time ago, even before this lifetime as you measure lifetimes. A progression of allowing expansion, of allowing the awakening and a feeling of lightness, more light. That is why you are seeing elemental darkness in what you call your political arena, in all the arenas that you look at. The darkness is coming up now in all the dramas, and you think, oh, it's getting worse, but it's not. Of all the things that have been swept under the carpet and held under the carpet because it was thought not safe to talk about them, think about them, or to bring them out into light, are now coming out into the light in order to be healed. It is as you would have perhaps the skin knee. It looks terrible. It's all skinned up, bruised, and you think, what's happening? It's all a mess. Well, that is what you are living with in your world. It is coming to a place where it has been scraped down to perhaps the bloody bit of it, and it looks pretty awful, but it is what it has to do now is to heal. And it is coming to a place where, if you have had what is called the infection and something has been under the skin, it has to open, and then the healing can happen. And that is what you are seeing, the whole messy bit under the skin now being exposed, and that is when the healing can start. So when you hear of the infection of the world, Allow yourself to know that truly the skin is being pulled back so that the healing can begin to take place. It is happening not only in your geopolitical grouping but also in all the others, and because now that you are coming to the threshold of understanding oneness, you are aware of all of the brothers and sisters in other geopolitical groupings who are arising up and making quite a bit of turmoil so it looks terrible, and yet what is happening is working towards the healing. Now we have spoken in other times that your timing seems to be quite slow. In truth, many changes happen every day, and they all add together to bring the collective consciousness to awakening and feeling more light. Sometimes it takes a while before ones can see. Oh, we are now further along than we were maybe six months ago or two years ago. You know, there's been some evolution which has happened. But it takes a while before it is obvious, so ones can say, well... This is really terrible. Every day when I turn on the television set, I get to see news that is just really, really disheartening. And yet the heart is in it. The heart is in the healing of bringing it out into light so that the healing can begin. So when you feel disheartened, know that truly you are putting the heart back into it. When ones will give you the news, it sounds like fresh disasters. There is always a new one every day, or several every day perhaps. Know that truly it is being brought to your attention. You are inviting it to come to your attention so that you can know the truth of it. Not to focus on the obvious. Do not deny that there is violence happening and perhaps there are ones who have all the possessions swept away in the wind. And yet you have seen these ones when they have been asked, How is it for you? And they say, I am blessed because I have come through this. And so ones awaken. Ones then come to a place of understanding. It is my divinity that truly orchestrates my life, and when that aha happens, then there is great laughter. There is a great throwing off of the heaviness of the world and the feeling of light. And at that moment the aura expands quite significantly, and they go with a step that is lighter, that is free. I speak to you from a place of freedom, of expansiveness. I want you to grasp the feeling of expansiveness, because it is your true divine nature. The basic law of the universe is expansion, always and forever expanding. Your scientists, when they look at the known universe, have told you that it is expanding outward. Your inner nature is expanding always and going out further and further. The basic nature of you is to expand. You are energy. Truly everything is energy, whether it is formed or unformed. It is energy, and the basic law of energy is to expand. That is why you are making for yourself new universes, the ones within and the ones that are seen and measured by your scientists. The creative one is always expanding and creating, and that is who and what you are. You have a great example of expansion in nature. It is called a puffball mushroom, which grows and grows until it is almost the size of a basketball. It starts out as a small mushroom smaller than perhaps a small button, and continues growing, expanding until it reaches its prototype in the divine plan. 
In your life, you can feel the underlying current of life energy and know that it is always going forward, expanding as the energy of spirit. First of all, it goes into the mind, and you play with the creative current in your mind. Then, with a deep breath, you can come to the feeling of the current of living energy. That is why I say unto you to take the deep breath, because when you take the deep breath, you allow yourself for a millisecond to touch the current that is underlying everything. So whenever you remember to take the deep breath, you allow yourself to go to the place that is truly is the underlying divinity, the current that is always you and will forever be as you go forward onto what you see to be other experiences, other lifetimes, other forms, other manifestations of whatever you want to bring forth. Allow yourself to know that I am eternal because you are. I am the spirit that activates everything that I see. I am divine. I am of the Creator. That is why I am so creative. Oh my goodness, sometimes I wish I weren't so creative. But then you take a deep breath and you say, Well, that which I have judged to be not so good, I could have done better. Then you see how even the place where you say, I could have done better, has brought you to the place where you understand that you now are better. Everything builds with a purpose. Everything builds to bring you to the place of accepting in awareness, true awareness. I am okay. Everything I have thought that maybe I could have done better was actually perfect at that time. Even I, as Jeshua 2,000 years ago, thought, Oh, I could have done better. I should have done better. I could have said. I knew the power and the peace and the love of the Father and how I wanted to give it to people. I wanted them to come alive in it. I wanted them to know what truly they are alive in that spirit. Some of them caught it, but many of them did not. They were caught up in thinking, What do I have to do tomorrow? Where am I going to get the golden coins? And so I prayed to the Father. I did more than pray to the Father. I screamed at the Father and I said, What's wrong? What's wrong with me that I can't get the message across? I love these ones. I love this one. I want him to know how loved he is. I want him to know how beloved he is. I want him to feel it, truly to feel it deep within himself. And when I stopped, and I took finally a deep breath, the Father said to me, There is nothing wrong with you, and there is nothing wrong with the ones who do not understand right now. They are in their right place on their journey. You are saying the right thing, and in time, they will hear those words. Maybe 2,000 years have to go by, maybe even longer, but it is okay. There is nothing wrong with you. So I took the deep breath and I said, Well, if you say so, I guess you know, speaking with and to my divine self, which is the Father. And so I went forward speaking my truth of the love of the Father, the goodness of the Father, how life can be lived easily and happily, even though the Romans were coming with their swords and demanding that ones give up not only the golden coins, but their dwelling places, even their physical bodies. They were exerting what they, the Romans, saw to be their power at the time. But it was only passing temporal power. And now you have the advantage. You can look back and you can say, That's part of history. I see how they rose up and they were in power for a while, but that was passing and there have been other civilizations that have arisen and passed away. You have some that are known now in what is called your mythology, ancient history, even before recorded history, and it is all true. Over and over you reinvent until you come to the place of deep breath. You come to the place of saying, Look at what I have come through. Look at the lifetimes that I have lived. Look at what I have done, all of the other lifetimes where I have been a leader where I have given of my vision and sometimes of my body, because that's what was needed. I've really come a long way. It's an expansion that is forever going forward. And you have heard me speak over and over about going forward and expanding and experimenting and expressing until the purpose of time has been fulfilled. Because you are going to go outside of time. Time is a construct that you have built into this reality and you feel to be constricting from time to time, upon there, you feel to be constricting and you say, I can't get everything done on time. I can't get to wherever I want to go on time. Everything is measured in time in this reality. 
but you're going to come to a place where you're going to walk out of time. But you are still going to be ever-expanding, ever-expressing, ever-creating, because that is your divine nature. So if it is your future, and I assure you that it is, you might as well be happy about it. It is a good future, and you will be happy in it every day, every moment, even outside of time. For truly, when you lay down the body, you have an experience called heaven, but it is just that, an experience. And when you have experienced it to the place when you feel complete, the same as when you feel complete with the physical expression, you will move from what is called heaven into another experience ever expanding. You are a galaxy in yourself. Within yourself, you are the galaxy. You can see this as you attract certain ones to yourself, and you all spin in the same direction, or sometimes you do not, and then it feels different. You are a galaxy unto yourself, forever expanding and going forward just for the experience of it, just to know how creative you can be, just to enjoy. For truly, as you understand and you accept, you are energy. You know that you are energy. You wake up in the morning and sometimes you say, Oh, I don't have any energy. Or sometimes you wake up in the morning and you say, Wow, I can't wait to get up and get going. Whatever you have planned for that day, and you know even in that small example that you have energy, not that you have energy, but that you are energy. And more than that, and that is just a small part of you, but it allows you a clue. You are creative, expansive energy forever going forward, and it always will, even beyond time, be who and what you are. To use the word who limits it, seemingly as a personality. But to speak of what you are, eternal, ongoing, beyond even the concept of time, expansive energy, you have called it spirit, and that is what you are. You take on certain personalities, certain attributes in different lifetimes, different expressions, just for the fun of it, just to experiment to see how it would feel. How would it feel to be a man, to have certain attributes of a man, to be masculine, to perhaps be able to ride the great stallion to know your oneness with that form of life? How would it feel like to be a woman, to be feminine, to birth the small ones? How would it feel to have the physical attributes of the man, yet have the feminine qualities? How would it feel to have the physical form of a woman and have the masculine qualities? How would it feel to be the butterfly, the very tiny little butterfly, fragile seemingly and yet life itself? How would it feel to be the great mammoth? They are not just part of mythology. Your scientists are now finding some of the remains, so that you know that you have brought them forth in what seems to be a long time ago. But you have not only brought them forth, you have been them, because you wanted to know how does it feel to be so large, expressing so much energy and form? How would it feel to be a teeny little tent caterpillar, to be life in that form to know only one thing, that I have to keep eating? How would that feel, although there is not the thinking that goes into it? It is only the innate instinct of life to continue life. The tenth caterpillars do not worry. They do not worry as they are eating the leaves. What is going to happen to me? Or what is going to happen to the tree? They just have the instinct of life to be ever ongoing. That is their purpose. They are life. They are energy. And that energy may then go into another form. Life can never be extinguished. Form can be extinguished, but not life. Life is an expression of the creative energy that you are, whether in form or unformed. Life expression is always expanding, wanting to experience self even more, forever ongoing, forever creating, forever expanding. The basic law of the universe, formed and unformed, is expansion. And you are the universe itself. So be it.